ESPN's uh, Rob Parker was doing some commentary on Washington Redskins quarterback Robert Griffin III. He was questioning whether or not uh, this quarterback is black enough, basically. Really? Yeah, which I, I, is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. Seems black enough to me. Yeah. I don't know, I'm just a fan. But uh -huh. okay. yeah. I was not familiar that anybody was mental enough to, to wonder if he was black enough. And what does that mean, black enough? Well, let's take a look at the video. Uh, you'll see Rob Parker trying to make his point. I, I'm totally confused. First of all, what's a cornball brother? Right. Well, that's one thing. I, I, I went out. I did a little. Tried to get a little research on that. I was unsuccessful uh -huh. in finding out what a cornball. I can't tell if he's the one that's the bad guy or the one that's the good guy. The cornball brother would be, an, I think, an inauthentic brother. Oh, I so, see. Uh, think, uh, think, we might want to ask you. Yeah. Think Carlton from uh, Fresh Prince. Right, Carlton from Fresh Prince. By the way, that's the guy who's not black enough. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he might need glasses. This, so this guy, so, so, so this guy but here's the problem. Uh, his girlfriend is white, and he might be a Republican. Therefore, he is not black enough. So that's what I heard. So this, th th there's no, we have no credibility to the Republican story. That was like a knife through my heart. <laughs> I was like, you're a Republican? Yeah. But he's got a white fiance, apparently. Yeah. And so that, because Rob Parker III also mentioned in his, that was on ESPN's first take, Skip Bayless, Stephen A. Smith there. That was part of what he said, was that, you know, because he's got, he, first of all, he praised the, the braids. Because uh -huh. he's like, that's, that's, that makes him a brother. Right, uh -huh. but the white fiance and the Republican, maybe he's not down with the cause. Okay, I down with what cause? What cause? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so first of all, a, a black athlete with a white girlfriend—that's probably a first. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you've eliminated what half the NFL <laughs> with that comment? It's ridiculous, right? right? Now it's a fiance. So what? Why are we in his personal life? Mm -hmm. And he's a Republican. Yeah, like Ben says, obviously we're not in favor of that because we're not Republicans and. But probably the kid doesn't know that much. I mean, come on, you got to. I mean, what, like mm -hmm. any kid let's go his with age. The, let's go with that. He's not a Republican. Okay, all right. Even if he was, <laughs> right, I mean, even how old is he? What is he? Twenty-two. Twenty-one or twenty-two. 20, yeah. What is what? Are, I was a Republican at twenty-two. Nice. Okay. So so anyway, I'm saying leave him alone. It doesn't mean he's not black. That's crazy talk. Yeah, uh, Steve, Stephen A. Smith was on the show and. He is seldom referred to as the voice of reason. Like he comes, <laughs> <laughs> he's a fairly over the top guy, but he comes out, he's black too, Stephen A. Smith, and he comes out, he says, I'm uncomfortable with where we just went. Robert Griffin III, the ethnicity or color of his fiance, none of our business, it's irrelevant, live his life in whatever way he chooses. The braids he has in his hair, his business, his life, he can live his life. So Yeah, he's God. absolutely yeah. right. I, I hate that. I hate when you look at the ethnicity or the race of uh, you know, the boyfriend or girlfriend and you judge that person based on that. Who cares? Who cares? You're living in America you where, that, right? where you have all of these great opportunities to date all of these different people. Why do you have to stick to your race? And, and I understand. Uh, you know what, uh, Anna, that's a great point. I'm sorry, I gotta jump in. You should do all the races. <laughs> God bless America, okay? Take advantage of that opportunity. Date someone from every single race, okay? I think you should. If you, if I, you, no, I believe if, it. If you I, have I, the I live that. Yeah, and, and look, I, it's this not weekend, just. Uh -huh. You should do a black guy. Come on, make that play. And you know what? Yeah. I will be with a Chinese woman this weekend. Oh, totally, yeah. Uh -huh. Right, and I will be with an Italian who seems like a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Parker has now been suspended uh, pending a further review, but they took oh. him off the air right away. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I wouldn't have gone in that direction. I would have. I would have. I, I think the cornball brother, that suggests, that's like, that seems crazy antiquated. You know, my, my, my ex-wife is black and she went through this. It's, and you know, I, it's a, it's a, it's a ugly. This sort of notion that you're not, you haven't earned your race, that you have to do it a certain way. And I'm obviously not in, you know, I'm, I'm uncomfortable speaking about it, but it just, it felt wrong to me. And I, I probably wouldn't fire him in the end, pending the, he's said a lot of outrageous things. This seems to be the most. So I don't know whether he gets to come back. I mean, I would tempt, you know, in general, I don't, you and I agree not to fire guys. But I would, you know, I mean, I'd give him a couple weeks and, and have him on a little probationary period of like be provocative in your thoughts, but this is, this is too much. You can't get on somebody for having a white fiance. It's just, that's not right. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't go with suspension either. I would go with firing his dumb ass. Yeah, yeah. It, mm -hmm. I mean, look, we did like, okay, maybe this, this is a near comparison because Rush Limbaugh's job is to do that. When he got fired from ESPN, everyone said he should get fired for saying right. stupid things and infusing racial uh, tones 
and things that have nothing to do with football into a football conversation. Now, we don't know the context of what they were talking about, but I don't care. Because under what discussion are we talking about how black Robert Griffin III is? So if you're marginalizing black guys and saying there's only a certain kind, I don't care if you're black, white, Asian, Indian, fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think he should be working anymore. Yeah. All right, you guys swung me. Suspension. And then I'd want to, obviously, we've got to look into all the details and then get a sense of whether he gets it or not. <laughs>